this this is a lot. Read the Quran, people. Yeah. Sheikh Fawzan, this is why I say, look, people, us living in the West, we need an understanding of Islam that will emanate from here. People, you know, the, like, I respect them. I'm sure, you know, Sheikh Saleh, Saleh Al Fawzan, and all these, they love the way they write all the extra vowels in their names as well in English. Abu. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, look, I respect them and you know they're great people who've dedicated a, an entire lifetime to Islam but look in all honesty look these people grew up pretty much most of them like Bedouins they grew up in a desert you know and they grew up Saudi Arabia wasn't even raving like you know like rich it was a poor place that when they were kids right they grew up like living amongst camels and tribes and memorizing tribal names and doing things like this and which i'm not dissing it's their way of life you know uh, and yeah i have actually read that sheikh fauzan believes the earth is flat i mean but this is th these are people who grew up as young boys in in deserts and around camels and 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 you know like involved in tribal superiority and all right so let's check this out and let's type in Al Fawzan Kurawiyat Al Arb. And we got a clip right here. Oh, yeah. Hell, you got to be had an Amor and the Yed Yamunahu Kurawiyat Al Arb. You could share Islam in the village now. Then the Ulama in the Kurawiyat Al Arb. So Salah al is saying that according to the consensus of scholars, as said by Ibn Taymiyyah, the earth is round. And that this is observable in the movements of the sun and the moon. Alright guys, so um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to make of this. In any case, um, a bunch of you have been saying in the comments that you would like a video in which we respond to Abu uh, <laughs> in regards to his allegations about Sahih Bukhari. Uh, remember, this is the BS series where we just focus on the BS that comes out of you know various Muqtada'a and Zanadaqa like Abu himself. Uh, however, yes, inshallah, we will be getting to it. We will be um, doing a thorough uh, examination of the authenticity of the attribution of Sahih al-Bukhari to Imam al-Bukhari and inshallah we're going to also be having a live Q&A inshallah where, we'll, where we will be taking your questions so please um, don't miss out and do subscribe to the channel and do share Barakallah Fikum, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Barakatuh